Hi there, this is Seven Song again, uh, introducing some new herbal first aid ideas to you. And what I want to talk about right now are eye cups. Uh, the reason I want to talk about them is I, I don't hear them discussed much. And in first aid, I use eye cups fairly frequently. So this is not about eye washes associated with doing street protests and getting tear gassed. Uh, this is eye cups, and the main reason that one is going to use an eye cup. So by eye cup, I mean this, and I mean this, cup and eye, eye cup, E-Y-E, -E, cup. That's right, as John pointed out, it's not, uh, a, it's not like iPad and iPod and eye cup. This is a little, this is a little less technologically advanced, but it, much more suitable, but you will not build large buildings in Seattle probably based on your developing new eye cups. So the main reason that I use eye cups a lot is that it's pretty common uh, in first aid situations uh, where people hurt their eyes. The three main reasons for them is irritants in the eyes, uh, like dust and dirt, uh, and airborne irritants. So basically, dust, dirt, airborne irritants, plus getting whopped in the eye by a branch. And if you do outdoor events that people sleep at, it's common that during the night, people, you know, people walking together, somebody will move a branch, not tell the person behind them, and it hits them in the eye. So that's the main reason I'm talking about them. The other reason people use eye cups is conjunctivitis. And conjunctivitis is an infection of the conjunctiva. And the conjunctiva is the outermost coating of your eye on top of the cornea, and it reflects back in the inside of your eyelid. When the conjunctiva, the protective coating, gets infected, uh, that's called conjunctivitis. Now, a couple of things cause conjunctivitis. The most common are actually adenoviruses, like the common cold. But not the common cold, but similar viruses affect the conjunctiva. But bacteria can infect the conjunctiva, allergies and irritants can also give you conjunctivitis. But the difference here is conjunctivitis is generally considered an infection. The other things that I generally use eye cups um, are considered irritants and just it hurts, your eye hurts. And so you're trying to reduce the pain and make it feel better. And there are some herbs that do that well. So the, uh, the things that you want on hand to make a good eye wash is a good, is a good eye cup, and we'll talk about them. So, you don't need all of these ingredients to make an eye cup solution, um, but the basic ingredients. So this is not about uh, conjunctivitis right now. What I'm talking about is what I normally see, which is when people get things in their eyes, they feel like there's something stuck in their eye, or they got hit in the eye by something. Uh, not by something big, not like a baseball, that's a whole other story, but by a branch or something, and their eye hurts. So the primary thing you need is an eye cup. Eye cups are much better than pouring stuff in the eye. I, I don't know if you have ever worked with people that have hurt their eye, but when, when you try to pour it, like if you take a cup of water and try to pour it in somebody's eyes, they blink mad, like people resist. Your, our eyes resist stuff in them, and it's a strong reaction. And when you pour stuff in people's eyes, you get all this like facial expressions and people trying to push your hand away. So eye cups have a little bit of that, but much less. So the goal of an eye cup is to help the irritation of eyes for things that are in there or were in there or for getting them scratched with branches and such. I will talk about how to use the eye cup for conjunctivitis because it's pretty similar, but right now the focus is on irritated eyes. So your eye cup is primary. The solution, best solution, is an eye wash, a saline solution. You can definitely use clean water. It's got to be sterile water or just clean water uh, as well. But the difference is that a saline solution is osmotically similar to your eye. In other words, when you put it up and hold it to your eye, it's going to feel better than if it's just water because it's the same osmolarity, it's the same amount of solutes in this and as this. We're going to use slippery elm powder uh, as the uh, demulcent emollient in here for the soothing the eye. And then we're going to have a stirrer. And all these other things are just about stirring. So here we go. First thing you do is you've got to clean your eye cup. So 
This eye cup has been cleaned with a clean cloth, but you can also, you can use alcohol prep pads. Um, if, if it's just irritant, it has to be cleaned well, but if the person had an infection, it has to be sterilized better. The best part about having a glass eye cup, this is glass. The best part about having a glass eye cup is you can boil them. The best way to clean this is to get hot boiling water, throw the eye cup, let it sit in for two minutes at a rolling boil, and it's clean. Anything on it is dead. Other things to do is you could put povidine iodine, betadine, in there and then wash out the betadine, and that will kill anything. Make sure you clean the rim, right, because that's the part coming into direct eye contact. So for right now, um, it hasn't had anything nasty. I'm just going to use an alcohol prep pad, an antiseptic wipe. Then what you would have to do is let it dry out for a little bit. Then what you're going to do, probably a little bit more than that, then you're going to take your saline solution and fill it up. Remember, you can use water here, but it's going next to your eye. So here's the trick while I'm doing this. The problem is, is that your eyes don't have skin on them. They have a conjunctiva on them which is different than epithelial normal skin tissue, right? It's important that your eyes are not covered up by skin because it would be very ineffective covered up by skin. So it means that your eyes can get infected easy. Normally they don't get infected because of tears and the washing action and having an eyelid. You can close your eyes. You can't close your skin most places, right? So when you're using an eye cup, you want to make sure not to put an infected eye cup on your eye. So even eye, like if you had an infection in this eye, but not an infection in this eye, and you put the eye cup here and then not clean it well and put it on here, you could spread the infection eye to eye. And you could also spread it to other people. I mean, you can spread it by just touching your eye if you have conjunctivitis, not an irritant, but conjunctivitis, a bacterial or viral disease, and then touch other people and they touch their eyes. I mean, as you know, if you have any school-age kids, Conjunctivitis spreads very fast uh, for younger kids, mostly due to physical contact and maybe a proclivity towards getting conjunctivitis. I'm not sure. So, but even with just eye irritation, you want to clean the cup well because if there's any germs on here and it goes in somebody's eye, you can infect their eye. And you don't really want to infect people's eyes. So I put in some fluid here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a tiny bit of slippery elm powder. This is the first one we're going to do. This is for irritated eyes. Not a lot. And I put about that much slippery out. And basically, I'm going to make a soothing demulcent eye wash. So I got dirt in my eye. My eye hurts. Hours later, it still hurts. I don't know if something's in there or not. So I want to put something soothing in there. So what I'm going to do is now stir it up. And I'm going to stir it up with these tweezers. And I'm going to sterilize the tweezers by heating them. Heat just is a great disinfectant, right? So these tweezers, the, way, the strength of the metal, they won't get hot. You can use anything clean. You can use a clean applicator. But I'm doing this because this is actually how I do it a lot. And then I'm going to uh, quickly clean. So there's lots of quicker ways to do this. I'm definitely not suggesting uh, that I do things the quickest way possible. Then I'm going to take uh, one of the, a couple of these alcohol prep pads. And I'm going to clean off the thing. You don't want to, it doesn't need to be hot. It actually doesn't matter because you're not using it directly on your skin. But I'm not going to touch it, right? It's just the iPad. Excuse me, the iPad. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I've washed it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to stir this up. So I will get rid of all the little chunky bits. Really anything, you know, obviously you don't need metal tweezers. The reason I like metal tweezers, though, uh, is because I can disinfect them. The same reason I like glass. I can add lots of heat. And heat, as I've mentioned already, is a good disinfectant. So that part is stirred. A little bit more stirring, maybe. I see a tiny little chunk in here. You want the chunks broken. They don't feel so good. As you can imagine, foreign objects in the eyes don't feel good. All right. So your next stage, this is how you apply an eye cup. You're going to get a towel. Uh, you can use. A favorite t-shirt as well. This is not going to come up against your eye. So you can get your old Raising the Herbal Army t-shirt. The school does sell these t-shirts, but I'm not selling them online. I'm just showing them off right now because I like how they're done. All right. So this, 
could be anything. And it's just going to be held under my eye because it's going to get messy. And then I'm going to, with my head down, I'm going to put the eye cup against my eye. It's going to drip a little when I do this. And then I'm going to pick it up. <laughs> I'm not used to looking at a camera when I do this. And I'm going to open my eye up. It hurts a little bit, so my face might look a little gruesome. Mm, but the slippery on taste good, actually, even with the same name solution. And I'm going to look into the eye cup. My eye is open. You can't see it there. <laughs> Do I look awful? Then after about a minute, it actually it doesn't feel that great, quite honestly. Um, <laughs> um, and that's all you're going to do. So what I'm going to do now is just lightly tap my eye. And this might be a little bit redder. Is it? <laughs> um, and that's how you use an eye cup. So that would, that would basically soothe an irritated eye. Again, like it does look, my, I'm sure I have facial expressions of somebody having fluid with slippery elm up against their eye. But basically what, this, what it does is that the Molson wash allows any other debris to be carried in it. You can also then follow it with an eye rinse if you want, which is just you get a squirt bottle with fluid and just go from the corner outward. When you, clean, when you do an eye rinse, eye wash is a difference here, an eye rinse, you get a squirt bottle without a lot of pressure and you go from the corner of the eye to this corner, not this way, but this way, away from your tear ducts. So that simply is an eye wash for uh, irritated eyes or eyes that got whomped with branches. The reason that you would be concerned about people getting uh, eye irritations is that, you know, eyes are valuable. And if people get bad scratches or if they get infections in their eye, uh, it could get worse. So you have to understand, like, while doing this, you have to be aware that eye infections can get more infected, which can create damage. Though in general, most of the time, it's pretty self-limiting. And this could be done with this. If I had eye inflammation, if I had conjunctivitis, there's two herbs to consider using for conjunctivitis or just a swollen conjunctiva. That's what I, conjunctivitis is. And those two herbs are golden seal tincture and eye bright tincture. If I was going to use an eye bright or golden seal tincture, I'm not going to put this up to my eye, so I'm just going to clean it out quickly. And I'll talk about why I use those two herbs. Same thing, eye cup, saline solution. This stuff's not too expensive. It, it is, though, a big thing to carry, honestly. So another way of doing this, uh, if you have inflammation of the conjunctive, of just inflamed around there, eye bright is a really good anti-inflammatory to the eye. I don't know if that's why it's called eye bright or if it's some Seattle tech name, eye bright, eye this, eye that, eye robot. But eye bright is classic for the eyes. But what it's really best at is for inflammation of the eyes rather than killing stuff. So for this, cleaned out eye cup, clean free of germs, saline solution, and then just two drops of tincture and the same thing. You don't have to stir it up. The, the tincture will just disperse. If I think I have a bacteria or a virus in my eye, conjunctivitis due to an adenovirus, to a, to a virus or bacteria, then I will probably use two drops of golden seal tincture in the eye cup. So the slippery elm powder I use if there's irritation in my eye or it feels like something's in there, dust or dirt, or I feel like I got scratched with something. Eye bright if it feels inflamed, uh, whether it's some virus or something else. You can combine it with the slippery on, but I tend not to. And then golden seal, if you think it's an infection and you want to put some herbs directly on the eye through this. So uh, there's just a few more things to say about eye cups, but that's basically it. They're handy to have. Once again, you saw my face using it, and that's me trying to relax, um, is that they don't feel good and people don't like them that much, but they can really help eye irritation uh, pretty quickly. Just a few things to be aware of is that your hand, if, like if you're dealing with conjunctivitis, your hands will have that virus on them if you're working with people. And so you just have to wash your hands really well in between even handling anything with the eye cups. I, w I probably wouldn't wear uh, gloves. I would just wash with soap and water in between working with people. 
Uh, if the person's eyesight seems to be worsening for any reason, probably they need medical attention right away. So not just like scratchy, but actually it feels like their vision is getting distorted. There's many things that can do that, but it might be hands times for a professional, somebody who knows what they're doing with that. Um, we talked about washing it out. Uh, by the way, something else you can do is you can make an eye compress. And an eye compress is when you have like, I don't have the compress here, but when I, I took the uh, pad out of this, I could take a sterile pad and moisten that and also put a, one or two drops of tincture on that and put that directly on my eye as well. And that's easier. But the eye wash, I think, works much better. So that's it. That's our quick demonstration on using an eye cup. Thank mm -hmm. you.